we will talk about the causes of stomach pain around the navel, also known as periumbilical pain. This is the area surrounding the belly button. The most common and important cause of this pain is appendicitis, which is the inflammation of the appendix, a part of the large intestine. In this condition, the pain usually starts around the navel and is dull. Over time, it radiates to the lower right abdomen. Appendicitis may also cause nausea, vomiting and a low-grade fever. The hallmark of appendicitis is the shifting pain from the belly button to the lower right abdomen after a few hours. Another informative sign is Rolfsing sign, which means that pressing on the lower left abdomen causes pain on the right side. To diagnose appendicitis, a CT scan is considered the gold standard. Most cases of appendicitis require surgery. The second most common cause of pain around the navel is gastroenteritis, which refers to inflammation of the stomach and intestines, often due to an infection from viruses, bacteria or parasites. The main symptoms of gastroenteritis are cramping pain around the navel, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. Fever is also possible. Gastroenteritis often starts with diarrhea and vomiting and the person may recall eating contaminated food, drinking contaminated water or coming into contact with an infected person. Gastroenteritis is common in areas with poor sanitation or close living conditions like daycares and hospitals. It can be caused by agents such as rotavirus, norovirus, Escherichia coli, Salmonella, Shigella, Giardia and other parasites. The gold standard for diagnosing gastroenteritis is stool culture and PCR testing. The main treatment principle is rehydration with electrolytes to prevent dehydration. Severe cases may require intravenous fluids. It is important to avoid anti diarrheal medications during bacterial infections and antibiotics are usually necessary unless there is a specific bacterial infection. The third cause is an umbilical hernia, which occurs when part of the intestine or fat tissue pushes through a weak spot in the abdominal muscles near the navel, creating a visible bulge. Many cases are due to congenital weakness of abdominal muscles but it can also occur from heavy lifting, multiple pregnancies, chronic coughing or obesity. The main sign of an umbilical hernia is a visible or palpable G near the belly button. The pain can worsen with activities or coughing and may become constant if the herniated tissue is compressed, restricting blood supply. This is known as strangulation. Ultrasound and CT scans are commonly used for diagnosis, though usually a physical examination is enough. It's in infants, most umbilical hernias resolve spontaneously by the age of 5. In adults with symptoms, surgery is recommended. The fourth most common cause of periumbilical pain is bowel obstruction. This occurs when the intestine is blocked and food fluid or gases cannot move through it effectively. Bowel obstruction can happen due to scar tissue, tumors, twisting of the intestines or problems with peristalsis and infections. In bowel obstruction, the stomach becomes distended and tender. You may hear high-pitched bowel sounds or possibly no bowel sounds at all. Other common symptoms include abdominal cramping, pain, vomiting bile or fecal matter, constipation and an inability to pass gas. For diagnosis, X-ray is commonly used to detect gas patterns or fluid levels. The gold standard for diagnosis is a CT scan. For partial obstruction, nasogastric decompression may be used while surgery is required for a complete obstruction. The fifth most common cause of perambical pain is pancreatitis. This condition presents with sharp radiating pain from the navel area to the back and is often accompanied by nausea, vomiting and a rapid pulse. The pain typically occurs in the upper part of the abdomen, but can sometimes be felt in the periumbilical area. It often starts or worsens after fatty meals. Pancreatitis requires hospital care. The sixth common cause is mesenteric ischemia, which is a condition where blood flow to the intestine is reduced, leading to tissue death, necrosis. The most common cause of mesenteric ischemia is an embolism often due to atrial fibrillation, although gradual narrowing of blood vessels can also occur due to atherosclerosis. The hallmark of mesenteric ischemia is severe pain with minimal abdominal findings on examination. As it progresses, 
there may be abdominal distension and tenderness, and nausea and vomiting with the blood in stool are also common. The most distinctive feature is pain that is out of proportion to physical exam findings, especially in patients with cardiovascular disease risk factors. The gold standard for diagnosis is CT angiography, and elevated lactate levels in advanced cases indicate tissue ischemia. Treatment usually involves urgent revascularization, often through surgery along with anticoagulation. Chronic mesenteric ischemia can be managed through lifestyle changes and medications to improve blood flow. The seventh cause can be abdominal aortic aneurysm and enlargement of part of the abdominal aorta that carries a risk of rupture. This condition is commonly associated with hypertension, smoking, age, and atherosclerosis, and it is more common in men. An important characteristic of an abdominal aortic aneurysm is a pulsatile abdominal mass. If a rupture occurs, it can lead to hypotension. The pain is often sudden and severe, felt in the abdomen or back, and can radiate to the legs. People commonly describe the pain as a tearing or stabbing sensation. This condition is primarily linked to atherosclerosis, hypertension, smoking, age, and genetic predisposition. The hallmark of an abdominal aortic aneurysm is a pulsating sensation in the abdomen with a high prevalence in older males, especially those who smoke. For an initial diagnosis, an ultrasound is used, while a CT scan provides detailed imaging. Treatment involves monitoring for smaller aneurysms, LST 5.5 cm, and surgical repair for large or symptomatic aneurysms.